Welcome to part 9 of the audio visualization tutorial in Unity by PeerPlay. In the previous part we implemented an audio profile to get a better feedback of our audio at the start of the application. Until this point our spectrum data has been based on only the left channel. In this part we will make our spectrum data stereo. Now before we get into the tutorial I would like to take a moment to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and a big thanks to the generous people that donated to my PayPal. On top of that, I just launched my Patreon page, on which all tutorials as well as the source files and code will be posted. By becoming a patron, you can support me in creating new tutorials and download this entire scene. So let me show you what we are going to do in this part. I've created another cool scene with rainbow colored stripes and some blend shapes, and everything is working perfectly. Currently though, the spectrum data is only working on the left side of the stereo pan. When I slide the stereo pan all the way over to the right, the audio is still playing, but the spectrum data gets no values. We need to take into account both the left and the right channel to get a true stereo spectrum data. Let's continue working in our audio pair class. If we scroll down to the function of get spectrum audio source, we get here the spectrum data and we put it into samples. And here we select the channel. Now the zero stands for the left channel. And if we make this a one, it'll say the right channel. Now we want to combine these two to have both the zero and the one, the left and the right, and make it stereo. Now to do this, we will duplicate these samples to make a left and a right. So on top, we have here the samples, and let's make this samples left. And we can copy, paste this, and we'll make here samples right. Now scroll back down to the function, and here we have to say the left, and let's copy paste this too. And let's make this the right make this a zero and this is the one. Now all that's left to do to make this work is go down to the make frequency bands and here we have the average plus is the samples and we can make here the samples left and if we uh, add the samples left and right together um, then we get a total of a stereo sound so let's do a plus with the samples left and the samples right. Let's play the scene and see if everything's working. So we've got the stereo pen on the left and on the right and everything is working correctly. So the visualizations keep playing no matter whether it's on the left side or the right side. Now you might prefer to have a separate left or right spectrum analyzation instead of a stereo analyzation and for that we are going to create a enumerator so you can select any inspector yourself whether you want to have it stereo or only on the left or right channel. So head back over to our audio peer class and here we are going to add a enumerator. So let's make a public enum and let's call this channel and this is going to be the selection menu for you in the inspector uh, to select whether you want stereo, left or right. Now this enumerator won't be showing in the inspector and we want it to show so we have to make a, a new instantiation of that channel that we just created. So let's make a, a public uh, channel which refers to the channel we just created and let's call this channel without a dash and we'll say it's a new channel so let's save this script and go back to unity to show you what this looks like now you can see here a drop down menu of stereo left or right that you can select and based on your selection here we want to change whether to use one channel or multiple channels. 
So let's go back to the audio pair class. And we're going to scroll down to the make frequency bands. And here we set just to make it stereo, but we are going to make an if statement. So in the if statement, we are going to ask ourselves what channel was selected. So if the channel is equal to the channel dot stereo, for this to happen. Now let's copy paste this. If the channel is equal to left, then we just want to have the left. So no plus, and this one goes away. Now the same thing for the right one. If the channel is equal to right, then we want to use the right samples. And with this if statement in place, we can save the script and go back to Unity. Now let's once again test our application. Now we have stereo selected here. It all works on the left and the right. If I put this on to the right and I select here left, then you see nothing happening. With right selected, it does work, but the left side won't work. And of course with stereo everything will work just fine. Now that's it for this part. In the next part we will look at using the microphone input to get spectrum data of either your voice or the stereo mix of your PC. Thank you for watching and if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up or leave a little thank you. If you want to stay updated with new tutorials subscribe to the channel. To support me, you can become a patron on Patreon and you get access to all of the source code. See you next time.